Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 4 in common errors in ADF playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to mitigate this error. The specified SQL query is not valid. The query does not return any data. So whenever we try to use lookup activity and we try to perform CRUD operations using lookup activity. So what is CRUD operation? It is basically create, read, update and delete. So using lookup activity in ADF, if we try to perform the CRUD operations, then usually we get this kind of error. Okay. So what it says is the specified SQL query is not valid and the query does not return any data. So let's see the details in next slide. So here is how the error looks like. Okay. So here you can see the specified SQL query is not valid. It could be caused because the query does not return any data. So let's try to perform one of the CRUD operations using lookup activity and we will try to use SQL Server as the connector in linked service and then we will try to use create table script inside the lookup activity itself and we'll see if ADF is able to create the table in SQL Server with the help of lookup activity or not. Okay, so let me go to ADF portal and here I'm just going to drag a lookup activity into this white canvas. So we are going to create this pipeline that is pipeline 48 where in this lookup we are going to point our data set to the SQL server. So I already have a data set created. So you can see this is pointing to my SQL server and you can see the server name, database name and this is my user ID and password and if I hit on test connection it should be connecting successfully okay so we are good so I'm not selecting any table here because we are going to use this query option okay so I will just remove this first row option and here we are going to query create table create table and let's give table name as suppose sample one and the table schema I would just keep it a simple schema with ID as integer data type and name with varchar suppose 20 okay so usually if I run this query in SQL server it will simply create this table so let me try to do the same uh, let me copy this but before creating the table I will just simply check if this table already exists or not okay so let me just see if select star from this table gives anything in return or not so you can see it says invalid object name sample 1. This means that the table already does not exist. So if we hit on this create table script, so you can see this table has successfully been created and now if we check select star from table, so you can see now it is showing us the table schema. Since it does not have any data, we have not inserted any data. So it is just a blank table. Okay. So let me drop this table now. Drop table and then sample 1. So let's run this particular query. And now no longer the table is present. So you can see now we don't have any table called sample one. In. So now we will try to create the table with this script using lookup activity. Okay. So by running the pipeline, it should create the table. Okay. So let's go here and let's try to hit on debug. So let's wait for the execution. So you can see lookup activity is in queue. So you can see it has failed. Let's check the error. So it is giving the same error which we were talking about. The specified SQL query is not valid. It could be caused by that the query does not return any data. Okay. So if we check now in this SSMS, we are expecting that the pipeline execution has failed. So it might not have created the table itself. Let's try to see. So you can see the table has been created by the lookup activity execution, but still the lookup activity has failed with this error. So what does that mean? So basically what happened is lookup activity tried to run this query in the SQL server and it successfully created the table called sample one with this schema that is ID and name. Okay. So the table creation got successful in SQL server, but actually in ADF pipeline, lookup activity is meant to return some data out of the data set that we are pointing to. Okay, so lookup activity should not have an empty result in the output. So it always expects something as the output. So if you see the output of the lookup activity, you can see this is an empty JSON. 
बट लुकअप एक्टिविटी इट सेल्फ इज मेंट टू रिट्रीव द डेटा आउट ऑफ द डेटा सेट सो द आउटपुट ऑफ लुकअप एक्टिविटी शुड नेवर बी नल एल्स इट विल फेल द पाइपलाइन ओके सो वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज वी सिंपली नीड टू यूज अ सेलेक्ट स्टेटमेंट आफ्टर दिस क्रिएट टेबल स्क्रिप्ट सो वी विल सिंपली राइट सेलेक्ट वन एज रिजल्ट ओके सो वॉट इट विल डू इज इन द आउटपुट जेसन इट विल जस्ट create a json with the key as result and its value will be 1 okay so this workaround does not only apply for create table script it may be the case that you are trying to update any rows inside the sql server with the help of lookup activity then you might be running the update table script or you might be inserting any data in all these cases that is in the case of suppose create table it will not return any data it will simply create the table and in the sql server the cre table creation will be completed but lookup will not return any data because it is a create table script similarly if you are updating any data it will not return any result right similarly if you are inserting any data it will not return any result and the same goes if you are trying to delete any table okay or any rows but if you use select statement it will give something as the output and the same will be coming as a json form in the output of lookup activity okay so the mitigation if you are trying to use create update insert or delete operations in sql server with the help of lookup activity then simply just append the query with a dummy select query at the end okay so here that's what i am doing select one as the result okay so now the table already exists because the last run created the table but only the pipeline had failed okay so let me just drop the table and now we will try to again create the table with the help of lookup activity and this time we are expecting that lookup activity will not fail it will succeed here in the adf pipeline so let's try to hit on debug now so you can see it is in progress right now let's wait yeah so now you can see pipeline execution has succeeded it has not given any failure and now let's validate the table as well it should be created so you can see the table is created it was created earlier also but the lookup activity had failed because it did not return any result so now if we check the output here you can see it is not an empty json it is giving the proper result with properties as count 1 and value is the array where result is the key and one is the value okay so this is what we have structured with the help of dummy select query right result is one because of this statement that is select one as result okay so this is what i wanted to convey if you are using lookup activity in order to perform some sql operations then make sure that the lookup activity is returning some result or some output after the execution so you can use a dummy select query here in the lookup activity okay so that's it for this video guys i hope you find this video helpful please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you